Amber Alerts are broadcast of information regarding the abducted child in hopes the child can be recovered as quickly as possible. And January is National Amber Alert Awareness Month. Very specific criteria to meet this, uh, you know, to be able to issue an alert. You have to know if the child, child was abducted, uh, some information about the abductor, where it occurred at, you know, what time it occurred, what type of vehicle they're in, something that would benefit the public that information being pushed out would help you know recover this person. I think to date the latest statistics I've saw are close to a thousand kids have been recovered uh, safely since the issuance of an Amber Alerts um, for several years. It's a national uh, project now. There's a state coordinator. Amber Alert honors the nine-year-old Amber Hagerman who was abducted while riding her bike in front of her family's home in Arlington, Texas and found murdered two days later. You know, a lot of times the cases are submitted for an Amber Alert and then it, it doesn't meet the national criteria and they're turned down. Because the concern is if every time you, know, you have a missing person, uh, you immediately broadcast it, everybody's phones are going off, TVs are going off, uh, radios, everything like that, at some point people will start ignoring them and not taking them serious. So they are reserved, um, I mean, but if, if it's something that meets the criteria, it will be sent out and it's sent out very quickly and has, you know, you can really uh, target the audience that you want to hit, the geographic area, the states, the cities. If, if you have specific information to take you somewhere, you can target those locations. Reporting in Beckley for Newswatch, I'm Shakira Hawkins.